We got something new in the mail today. But what we get? What we get, well, boo? These are cat litter mats. Charlie's gonna eat the adhesive tape. Whoopies, please, I do not want to go to the emergency vet. Always wanting the whoopies. And um, oh, they come from. I'm gonna let him smell that one and then pull out the other one. The company Pet Buddies. Oh man, let's go to town on that, bub. I don't know if you should be eating that astroturfers. <laughs> so it's basically um, astroturf, but um, it's obviously colored and made for litter boxes. Um, so this is the little one, and then there's a larger one here. And how this one came about, actually, um, that's good that he's stepping on it. Oh, he kind of shook his hand. Do not eat that. <laughs> Uh, is that I reached out to all of the companies that I have worked with in the past for a Made in the USA um, post that I hope to do around July 4th and said, hey, do you guys um, have any products that are made in the USA? Because um, if so, then I want to feature them in this post. And Pet Buddies just acquired Moda Pet which is a cat bowl company that we've featured in the past. And sorry, I was getting a cramp in my foot, so sorry for all the movement. Um, and so they responded, and, and I had not heard of Pet Buddies before, so uh, this was kind of a neat thing in the fact that we got introduced to a new company, and I found out that these are Missouri-made, just like me. <laughs> I was born and raised in Kansas City, Missouri, so uh, that made me excited. And um, I, I like the idea of of plastic for the. Um, I want to see if Trig was going to eat it. The litter box, um, because if they were to accidentally take a dump on it or pee on it. Uh, sometimes Trig and Charlie, when they've had diarrhea, they'll like go over the side of the litter box, and that is awesome. That is sarcasm. And so this would would allow me to take it to the sink and spray it off, or take it outside and spray it off. They both want to bite it. How funny. If you if you eat this freaking thing, man, we are not going to be reviewing it. Just eating the astroturf is not a good thing to do. It's interesting because he, um, they, they eat grass, you know? So he's kind of pulling on it like grass. Teague. 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 So traps and holds, uh, litter, tracked and scattered litter, less mess, cleans, cleans paws. We're gonna review these. This is these are only the second litter mats I've ever gotten. I'm gonna undo this one so you guys can. See. Okay, he started being interested in biting it again. So, um, Tiggy, we cannot eat this. <laughs> Scared Charlie. Um, so as you saw on the bottom, it's the original AstroTurf company. Can't get it to lay straight. You probably just have to work it um, to bend it to lay straight. I'm gonna see if I can get Charlie on it. <laughs> okay, he doesn't seem to. <laughs> he shook his paws. Let's see if Chiggy will walk on it. Uh, stop biting it. We'll have to see if that bitingness continues. Okay, they're both avoiding wa walking on it, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm I'm already knowing that this one I'm gonna think is too small, so we'll probably just review this one um, because the size of this one for a rag doll is just not big enough. Um, I don't think. I'll give it a go though. 
I don't know if you guys know that about me, but if I, um, if we get a product and there's an arrival video and you never see a final review video, it's because we get it and I tell the company I do not have enough nice things to say, so do you want me to continue on with the review? So in other words, I don't like to put bad karma out there if it, you know, it's not entirely necessary. I'd rather put reviews out for products that um, we end up liking in the end. And, okay, so, oh good, he got on it, yes. <laughs> He's still trying to bite it. I'm glad he was comfortable enough to get on it. <laughs> God, what are you doing? You're so cuteness. Gosh, this is illegal to be this cute. I'm going to turn you over to the police because it's so cute. Why are you so cute? Oh, my goodness. Oh, but you can't ha handle it when she talks to me like that. Okay, cleans up after hoppers and walkers. You'll be pleasantly surprised that you can shake the, out the litter buster mat and see all the litter that has been collected. They also sent us a litter scoop, um, which is a pet buddy's litter scoop. And uh, we won't be reviewing this. I'll probably just donate it to a cat shelter because you guys all know that I have one favorite litter scoop and I have tried others and, and none match up to it. So, um... We're just going to be reviewing the mats. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If there's something in particular that you want me to cover in the final review, please do that as well. I wanted to see if this extra large one had any other um, info on it that I hadn't covered. And there you go. It's made in Fenton, Missouri. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next